Sam in here, and welcome to the Broken Shield Survivor Server, hosted by me and RC Raceman, and it's Death. We are today we're going to be touring Curving Panda's area, and I'm going to have a little trailer at the beginning, and then a full tour at the ending of the trailer. So let's get on with that trailer. <laughs> So you got a really, really nice little dock system here with some nice little mini boats, which is really cute. Oh yeah, look how cute they are. Cute mini boats. Another one parked over here, which is really, really cool. And then he has his massive storage area right here on the docks. You know what I mean? You know him. You have a warehouse by your docks where you can keep all your stuff. Well, he has one in there. There's no point in going in there. It's just a bunch of chests. And then he... Oh, he has a map here too. This is cool. That's really cool. I like that. Didn't know that was there. So we curve and find it. And I appreciate all the work you have done. I know you might not seem like that, but I do. It is very much appreciated. All the work you have done for the server from the day one till now. And he has a really, really nice kind of old rockety field, wheat field here that he was growing his garden in, which is really, really cool. I've never ever seen really too many people do that in Minecraft before, but it's pretty cool. And you can see it's curving panda, and he is a panda. Oh, yeah. All right, so it should be your pathway here going into the farmhouse, which is really cool, too. All right, so you go in here, you get this nice area right here. With this, I'm assuming it's supposed to have horses in it, maybe? 
Um, oh yeah, there's one horse right there. Hi there. Hello. Whoa, I think I just seen a spider creeping on me. Hey. Hey you. What you doing up there? You gonna die. You gone. But he has a really, really nice barn here in stables for the horses. And up here is... What is up here? Um, that's just back entrance to a storage area. And then we come down this pathway. And it is his actual animal farm. As you can see, he's not really greedy with animals. They're not all lagged into each other, which is amazing. You know, you, you only need so many animals. I mean, if you're getting leather, breed, kill. Breed, kill. Breed, kill. And that way you keep around the same amount of animals when you leave. It's pretty simple. All right, we got into that, out of that subject, because I don't want to get into that one, because that one there just kind of gets underneath my skin about the, all the animals stuffed in a one block, one block area or in a 10 by 10 area, and they have 200 cows or pigs in it, and it's just so laggy, and it hurts the server. So he has a nice old ruckety path going back over to, ooh, a little bridge crossing over his little waterfall here. That's cool. I like that. And it brings you into the back of his house. He's got himself a chicken farm right here, which is really, really cool. And you can see he doesn't have a bunch of chickens lagged into each other, which is unneeded. Don't need that. But it's not all about the money. It's about playing survival. And this must go down to his mine. Yes, it does. And he's got a really, really nice house here. Um, yeah. Look, check it out. Let's just do a little flyby. I'm going to start doing more trailer videos with people's things. I just today I just jumped on doing a little quick update of a video and just throwing something out there. Um, I will redo this because I want to do a trailer of all this or maybe I'll just do the trailer and add it in at the ending or the beginning. I'm not 100 sure what I'm going to do here but I might do a little trailer of this whole area because I think it would be pretty cool. Alright so let's just um... Hey there Mr. Rabbit. What you doing? So let's go on inside which his armor is all missing off his stands because someone probably come and stole it because that's what people do. They steal the armor. Um, the doors are stuck open for some reason. I'm not sure why. The got some nice flags in here. Very well decorated. Go upstairs. Get himself some bedrooms. Bathroom. Nice. In a, in a toilet. We can have a pee, but no sink. I'm assuming that's a toilet. Where's the sink? How do I wash my hands after I'm done peeing? You just wipe them on yourself? Is that what you do? Um, that bedroom there is not finished. And then you go upstairs, I think is where his master bedroom is. Yes, it is. With some cake. Yum, yum. Got some cake. Come, cake. Cake, 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 And he's got a really cool flag design going up around the peaks and stuff in the dormer. So it's just really, really, really cool. Alright, so that's pretty much, I think, Curving Panda's area. I'm not 100% sure. We'll go outside and do a little flyby and check some more things out. I think he's actually building something over near KSL Bear's area. I'm not 100% sure. But, um... We will go over and check it out anyways, just to see. Yes, we will. Oh, he's got some things going here. This is not him. This is not him. This is a nice little fountain here. I really like this. This actually, I built this fountain in my mansion area because I really, really liked it. Nice little wooden house down in there. Um, holy crap, this is all new. Really, really new. Oh, this is curving uh, bears area? No. This is a whole new area, so I will be doing that in another video because I'm not sure if it is done. But this is Curving Panda's area and is a really, really crazy job. Um, he's a really, really, really good builder and a great guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, what do we got here? This might be something of his. I'm not sure. Or this might be Mattis's. I don't know. Elevated Panda Redstone Storage Lot. Employees only. No trespassing. Oh, well, yeah. I'm an employee, I guess. Alright, so this is a really, really cool little redstone area. I'm not really sure what the concept of it is, but it's really, really cool. Uh, it's a nice little medieval barn with a bunch of little things with redstone. I'm not sure what they are because I'm not really good with redstone. Probably should open these, but I'm going to anyways. Um, I'm not sure what the, what the purpose of it is for, but it's really cool. It's kind of like a redstone museum. I really, really, like, you know, just little simple things. Full of this fencing is really cool, too. I like that. It looks sick. Oh, yeah. 
And he's got a nice archway going in there. Like see, he has this whole area all done off. His field's all fenced off and stuff like that. He gets really mad when people jump in his field and stuff like that. But I think that is fixed. You can't jump on things anymore. But like I said, this is his area, curving pan his area. He has cleaned their big area, but he has well deserved it. And he's really well good at laying things out and making it look like it's supposed to be there like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video update of Curving Panda's area. Don't forget to smack that like button because it helps my channel out. It's very much appreciated. And thank you for watching. And have a nice day. And hello, Mr. FedEx. Thank you for coming in. And have a nice day and peace out.